This is your Thursday devotion, and uh, Proverbs 29.11 says, A fool always loses his temper, but a wise man holds it back. I want you to notice it says, uh, A fool always. We all lose our temper from time to time, don't we? Well, we shouldn't, but we do. But a wise man holds it back. There's three things that I really want to say to you. Um, first of all, I want to talk to you about the fool. Then I want to talk to you about the faithful. And then I want to talk about the fearful. And as I started thinking about anger and temper, I realized that over 300 times in the Bible, we find words about anger and temper. In the New Testament, in Galatians 5.20, Ephesians 4.26, uh, Ephesians 6.4, 4, Colossians 3.8, uh, James 1.19, James 1.20. These all talk about anger and temper. Uh, Ephesians 4 tells us to not let the sun go down on our anger. Uh, Ephesians 6 4 tells us that uh, we shouldn't provoke our children to anger. Uh, our uh, father shouldn't. Colossians 3 8 says that we should uh, put it aside. And James 1 19 says we should be slow to anger. And uh, we, we need to remember the fool is the one that always loses his temper, always shows his anger. And the wise man constrains it. He's faithful to God. And uh, I think sometimes when we get angry, we get angry saying, I don't deserve this. Why is God allowing me to? Our anger is not only towards uh, something, but it's actually against God as well. Uh, almost blaming God for the fact that we're going through something or having some problems. Finally, the, the last one is the one that I wanted to spend the most time on, and that's fearful anger because uh, God has only one kind of anger and it's righteous anger and we ought to be fearful of his righteous anger uh, when we continually lose our temper when we fail to restrain our anger and temper when we don't put it aside when we cause others to be angry such as our children uh, God has a righteous anger about that and one day he's going to vent his anger on all of those who have had a chance to accept him and have rejected him. There's coming a day of judgment. Uh, the tribulation period is described in awful terms. Uh, some of the old time preachers that weren't afraid to step on toes and preach hellfire and brimstone uh, would talk about a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. We don't hear too much from preachers today about angry gods. We don't hear too much about righteous anger when God can uh, allow us to suffer some pretty serious consequences of our temper, of our anger, and uh, of our loss of countenance. And we don't have to go very far in the scriptures to find uh, him warning Cain about his anger and so we we need to really remember the wrath of God today not just our own anger not just uh, the faithfulness not to blame God or to uh, question why things are happening but all for also a fearful anger uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and we need to get back to talking about the fact that God has a righteous anger and it's not just against those that are lost. Uh, sometimes he can get pretty upset with us as Christians for doing some of the stupid things that we do uh, and allowing us to suffer the consequences of our foolish actions. And uh, sometimes it's not just those that always lose their temper that are foolish. Sometimes we become foolish in the way that we so lightly think about God and his anger. And that's your thought for the day. God bless you and have a good day.